Bueno, pues ya estamos aquí en otro capítulo más de este Let's Play de The Walking Dead, la temporada 2. Y bueno, estamos en el episodio 3, vamos a comenzar hoy el episodio 3, que bueno, ya sabéis, en el anteriores capítulos, eh, William Carver al final nos nos vio, o sea, nos cogió, nos alcanzó, digamos, y vimos ahí a un personaje que se llamaba Bonnie, que era del DLC de los 400 días, que estaba ahí compinchado con ellos, y ahora estamos en, el, en un campamento, sería en el campamento donde estaba el William Carver, supongo. Y también supongo que sería el campamento al que, se, al que mencionaban en el DLC de los 400 días, supongo. Así que nada, vamos a ver qué tal empieza este episodio. Seguramente eh, recordaremos lo, las decisiones que ya tuvimos en el, anterior, en el anterior episodio con un recordatorio de estos. Y nada más, vamos a empezar el episodio 3 en peligro. Vamos allá. A ver qué pasa. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f We're going home. As a family. Bueno. A ver, se supone que estamos en el campamento, yendo hacia allí. Campamento de William Carver. Una mariposa. ¿Qué pasa? Inspeccionar. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. Why wouldn't I? We're all in this together. Yeah, I guess so. It's just nice to have a friend, you know? Yeah, I know. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? Well, what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. It caused trouble. People got hurt because of that stupid thing. People died. Well, if you try and take this one, honey, I'll hurt you myself. Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. What? In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Bueno, pues así empieza este tercer episodio. Vamos a ver. Episodio 3 en peligro. Hmm. 
aquí nadie habla todo en silencio, todos en silencio We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was going to do Luke, something, no. he'd have done it by now. No, he's dealing with. Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Can he please calm down, please? I'm calm, Sarita. I look angry to you. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Sí, a ver qué hacemos, tío. Hey, Contra todo el campamento este. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him, what he's capable of. I, I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, Hunt. that's okay, that's okay. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Oh, oh, Kenny, are you okay? Primera la frente, macho. Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Sí, mejor así. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at them. Vale, la, la otra chica esa es la que reclutaba a la, a la gente de los 400 días del DLC. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a 
better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, and they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we we'll need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will move forward. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Prosper. Bill can see no if you're messing enough. with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to be a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> you still... I'm so sorry. No tiene brazo. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. ¿Qué pasó con su brazo? I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell. And everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Bueno, pues estamos aquí encerrados. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? No. Can you guys save it for the morning? Someone's got to be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a Mike. dick when he's tired, but... Like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but yes, that chica I'm not yes. happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. 
Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Okay, sure. <sighs> Thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, but if she doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. <laughs> we gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. De momento vamos a portarnos bien y luego ya intentaremos escapar porque tampoco me apetece estar aquí dentro. ¿eh? Vale, vamos a hablar con estos tíos. Hello. Get lost. Muy amable. A ver, estatua de pez. <risa> Esto no sirve para. A ver, mujer. Mm, pues nada, cara de pocos amigos. Vale, esto es cama. Aquí no habrá nada, supongo. <risa> vale, aquí está Nick. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. Yeah. Yeah, he's still out there. You watch. I... I don't know. Well, I do. He'll show up. You can count on it. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Vale, vamos a seguir buscando. Hmm. Looks rickety. 
aquí hay algo. No, vale, es... Vamos a hablar con el grupo este. ¿Esto qué es? Tierra, nada más. Vale, vamos a mirar por aquí. Nada. Esto cerca. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. <laughs> How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Anda, mira esto. A ver. Que no hay nada, ¿no? Ah, mira, una escalera por aquí. Una cuerda aquí. Escalera por aquí. Y esto que tiene alambre. Ouch. Sí, tiene que doler engancharse ahí. Vale, a ver qué es esto. Vale. Pues no parece que haya nada más. Persiana. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. I'm gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Bueno. Dad! Oh, you're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Vale. Pues Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? Sí, yo It's quiero salir de aquí, pero vamos. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Yo aquí no pienso quedarme. Eso está claro. Venga, hombre, ¿qué forma es esta de despertarnos, hombre? Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Jennifer Shut will be up. taking over Reggie's well, duties don't have outside to be the wall. About it. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Poof. Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. 
S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You Holy discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. What? You'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Sé que les tienen aquí encerrado. Just get it over with. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Que los tiene aquí encerrados en el I'm campamento sorry, este. Dad. I'm Close sorry. your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Picará un poquito, pero bueno. Una bofetada. Do it. Coño, si la tira al suelo, tío. Joder. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop. You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. La armería. Soy el cañón. Joder, qué cojones. Oh, shit. Clementine. ¿Quién es esa? La mujer de antes, ¿no? Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and Sarah? Esa salían también en el DLC. She's had a hard time, Becca. Que no me acuerdo so el nombre, wait. tío. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. No me acuerdo el nombre de esas inside. chicas. Bonnie's waiting. Claro, estarían aquí en el campamento, los del DLC. Bueno, ya hemos hey, visto a más gente, I por lo menos. Guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Ya no me cae bien, eh, Bonnie. Ya no me cae bien. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Pues ha sido tu culpa, majita, maja. Pero bueno, vamos a. Mucha gente es culpa. That's big of you, but I know what I done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize, which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but <laughs> it's safe. A, a la prisión. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison, more of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I probably. I don't know. I never been to prison. Don't tell no one. Trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're Estaban safe here. Estos. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he he wasn't always like this. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. 
I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. And there's something to that. I think he's crazy. He's... He's... Overstressed. It's easier to just say crazy. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Can it yeah, stop? she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Un abrigo. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. <laughs> what? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Vale. Follow me. Come vale, on. pues ha guardado por aquí y vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy aquí. Ya seguiremos con más de Walking Dead en el próximo capítulo. A ver qué cómo sigue esto y a ver si podemos salir de algún de alguna otra forma. Así que nada, nos vemos en el próximo capítulo y hasta la próxima.